Would you just look at this fine piece of LS here? There's just something about a junkyard motor. Maybe it's the anxiety of will it run or will it knock or will it leak oil? Hopefully, it's out of some soccer mom suburban who changed the oil every 3,000 miles, never towed with it, mm -hmm. and just babied it. She was scared the floor it didn't Sca want it to blow up. Didn't want it to blow up, so she took it easy on it. But I have my doubts. So this last fall I put a Phytec on my 350 Buick. Um, I was debating if I should put an LS in this buggy or just keep the 350 and do a Phytec so I'll have fuel injection. And uh, me and my dad started talking more and more about it and we decided that it would probably be best just to put a Phytec on it because this motor's been running for years and years and hasn't had any problems. So I put the Phytec on and I took it a couple trips to get it finally tuned in and everything running good. And I went up this hill, Sand Mountain, at our local sand dunes and I ended up blowing the 350 up. So, <laughs> knock on wood before you say something, I guess. Here's my new motor. There's the LS, junkyard LS in the flesh. Down. Um, since that blew up, we were deciding if we should just rebuild that 350 or if we should make that step to the LS. But uh, after I considered it and looked more into it, it was going to be a little bit more money to put that LS in but there's just so many more possibilities and parts were cheaper and everything was just way more accessible so I decided that I was going to switch over to an LS engine. Um, I ended up getting a 5.3 liter uh, Chevy out of a 2004 Chevy Suburban and uh, just kind of worked over the winter and slowly mocked everything up and put it in. Ended up running a Terminator X computer system on it to try it out. And uh, I was originally going to use the stock computer and do my own standalone harness. Um, but the more I looked into the benefits of the Terminator X, the more it pushed me to it, even though it was going to be more money. So I ended up going with the Terminator X. Well, here we go. First run in the buggy. Let's see how everything works. Here's the videos of the motor running, I guess. <laughs> it actually ran really good. Um, it was kind of weird because at first uh, it sounded pretty similar to the 350, but driving and riding in it, it's way smoother. Um, it's way smoother power. Um, the biggest thing I'm seeing from it though is the RPM gain. The RPM on the 350 it was about 4,800 RPMs and then would lose power after that point. So, you know, you could hit 5,000, but it just, it just didn't really have anything more to give after that. I kind of was like letting off and then hitting it to see if it rebuild, and it does. It just 
Okay, yep, we're going to five, I guess. I'm so happy you're crying over there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at his eyeballs. Oh my god. I'm so emotional right now. Um, this 5.3, it's bone stock, uh, besides headers and the Terminator X. And, um, the cam peaks power at like 5,300 RPMs, but it'll rev like up to six if you're, you know, scooting along pretty good. It just revs really good, it's really snappy. Um, it feels like it wants to be at high RPM and it doesn't sound like it's gonna blow up. <laughs> the 350 at high RPM was screaming. So I've kind of just, you know, continued to drive it, test it out. Um, the more I consider it, I think I'm gonna throw a cam in it. Um, the cam makes it so the peak horsepower is at like 6,000 to 6,500 RPMs. So that'll give, give me even more RPM to play with and um, it'll give it more power too. So anyways, here's the video.
but like it revs so high in first gear too, you shift to second, it'll just pluck it out. It's like, oh, 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 Vacation with Clark. With, with Clark. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is I don't the vacation was Chevy Chase. Wow. Last he week. This <laughs> week. It was not this is awesome. This is a hell of a jump. Get it, well, Oh my god. <laughs> so it sorry, my phone. It would have been fine except the front wheels dug in. I may have sent it a little bit. Had a boy. <laughs> what you call on dark? <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't have enough experience. <laughs> no, I, I say I have experience. 
Well, I'm like, how far, how long did it take you to walk back? He's like, oh, maybe 40 minutes. <laughs> Shit, he must have been it? running oh back. Oh my god. time is flying, or not flying. I was thinking we were three, four miles out. It's a ways. It's a ways. I can see it moving, it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Think that's enough, Byron? Probably. All right, let's get some beef, guys. Don't get underneath it. So we're probably going to have to go up halfway and then get under it. Hand clean. Under. So remember those squats we were talking about. It's all in the it's back and not the knees. So you want to go down like that? Yeah. Okay, we're going. Yep. Let's go. Oh, you're Whoa. Whoa. I Dude, I can only imagine. <laughs> that was a heck of a ride. <laughs> that was a... <laughs> oh, that ain't bad. It's funny. Oh, it's bad at all. That's right. Is it drivable oh. out? Yep. Perfect. Oh, God. Dang. Yeah, let's lucky. do it again. Let's <laughs> 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 try <laughs> It looked like it was. Weak. It looked pretty bad. I thought it was bad. Well, oh, I wonder if just getting the air and play yeah. it played out and helped it a little. They're definitely tweaked, but they're definitely tweaked. But we'll get back with that. Yep, we'll follow you back. I'm, I'm be honest though. I'm surprised it's not damaged more. Yeah. I am too. Yeah. You yeah. The Did you land right on the? See these two holes? Yeah, this <laughs> That's the front wheels. This is the front wheels. I'm like, where are the tracks? I'm like, I stepped it off. Us or something because something just don't feel right. There's no tracks. <laughs> it's like an old Jumanji thing with their oh. side by side. It just fell out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it did fall out of the sky. <laughs>